morning and hello to each and every single one of you guys out there and welcome back to another episode of Rise and Rogue with yours truly the Hermit Hood. Oh yeah guys, I've been busy. I've been busy off camera this morning and I got a surprise for you which is why we're staring out here at the porch. Um, yeah, I know we got to get some work on that and that porch is going to come next, I promise you. So, the inside of the house. I've been a little bit busy off camera this morning, all day, and I've been up since about 6.30 this morning. You guys see some framework popping up over in here. All right, so what's going on? What's going on? Oh, 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 wow. And what is that over there? Well, I'll show you guys that in just a second. Let's go over this. All right, so for today, for today, what we're going to be doing, guys, today's episode, we are going to be filling in the walls and we are going to be putting windows in, in a montage. We are going to complete the first floor. On this floor inside the kitchen over here, we are going to have ourselves a twin set of, uh, what we're going to have ourselves a walk-in pantry, maybe some shelves inside of here, so you could actually have your stuff and things inside of here. Uh, I do not have a wall planned for inside of this wall yet. Um, we might do that, not sure. What I want to do is I want to close this in, I want to close all of this in complete all the way over to here all the way down this way the back wall of the pantry i'll worry about that later i want to close this in coming the whole way down over towards that over there um the staircase we can worry about it another time maybe um what i want to do is i actually want to remodel this staircase which will actually come start from right about here It'll have a doorway that'll start right here. The staircase will still remain where it is, but we're going to have a doorway right here. So we're going to have a little bit of a flat right here, a wall that separates the two of these. So that's why I have this board right here. There's going to be another one right here once I figure out where dead center is. So there's going to be a wall that separates both of these off. So essentially you're going to have yourself a door that goes upstairs and from over here on this side there will be a door that goes to the downstairs. Because it, it really just doesn't make any sense to me to put two doors side by side, the one going up and one going down. It just doesn't make any sense and it just doesn't seem to click too good for me so i want to be able to put a wall as a separator between the two of these things these things will come down here towards the man cave and all that other stuff things all of this stuff down here guys we will be renovating this down here not at this point in time um i'm getting stuck all right let's get up here now the kitchen is just about set and ready um, we need to be able to get ready to put a ceiling inside of this place. As you can see, I have already started to put the I-beams in at the top for this section. Inside of here, guys, look at this. I found the perfect board for in the living room. And just look at how that looks against that back panel. Against that backdrop. That looks gorgeous. And you're probably wondering, well, what ID is that? That, my friends, is actually a wood plank with the material of 194. Now, what material is that, and what is it, and what are, why are we using it on the living room? Well, because the living room, think of it as like a den, all right? This, well, not the den. This is like the place where the family loves to hang out. The guy loves to hang his deer picture up on the wall. Um, maybe he wants to put a de his deer trophy up here on the wall. The wife isn't too happy about it, but she <laughs> just allows it, okay? She loves to, she allows it, all right? But we're going to, what I want to do is I want to invite Smilo Sabercat over here to decorate the house after I am done with this. So Smilo Sabercat, buddy, after I'm done building this entire house, I want you to uh, send me a friend request on Steam and I want you to come over here and decorate the house when I am done with it. I'm going to actually put a custom 
table right here in the middle of the kitchen for you and you can choose your own chairs that you want to put around it um i will measure for the chair height um we're going to complete these put some what windows in the bathroom i will have to build a custom bathtub for inside of here uh, maybe we'll put some water in it but this will be the doorway for it i measured for the doors as you guys can see, if I go ahead, press this right here, you can see the door fits beautifully right in there. We got another one for over here. It fits just perfect. Now, this over here, I need to be able to put two, I need to be able to put two swinging doors, one over here and one over here. Now these swinging doors, this is be your walk-in pantry as I was talking about. Now, what do you guys say we put some honey in this house? Because this living room, it is going to look gorgeous. It is going to be my pride and joy. Oh my goodness. I'm going to love this. The kitchen's going to look nice. The living room's going to look beautiful and gorgeous. The bedroom, mm, we got to come up with a wallpaper for inside of here. And the bathroom, I might have a marble tile for it for the seal for the walls we'll see we'll see we'll see we'll see let's go open this thing up over here and i'll show you guys what that is all right so if we head over here to the metal not metal metal not metal uh recycle metal this right here number 194 if we go over here and look at this material 194 we go over here this right here is the uh block that you guys see i'm using on the living room walls now i Spawn that in just to see what it would look like against the living room walls and it looked gorgeous So we're gonna be getting some of that stuff inside of here today guys and I love it. It looks gorgeous. We're going to use it And when it comes to building the roof um, We might build this stuff. We just might have to uh, throw some metal out for it, but We'll find out when we get to it, when we get to it. All right, um, but that portion just isn't done yet. Now let's go ahead, let's talk about them, them bathroom walls. All right, I was looking into the marble, the marble, and I was thinking something kind of smooth for them bathroom walls, kind of like this. We could use this in the kitchen or we could use it in the bathroom. Because it kind of matches the grout of the bathroom a little bit too well. So I was thinking we could use this on the bathroom walls or this one. Um, we used this in Dee Dee's house, if I remember. It was one of these. Um, so one of these we're going to use today. I might use this one. So we're going to go ahead and star that one. Head down here. Let's de-star that. We're going to use this one right here, which is ID 54. And for the bedroom, for the bedroom, what I want to do, let's head over to the planks. And what I want to do for the bedroom is I actually want to use a different type of uh, plank for the bedroom walls. All right. So the bedroom walls, I'm thinking I want to brighten it up a little bit in there. All right. Let's switch over down here towards the uh, plaster. All right. Let's give it maybe a stucco kind of kind of style, okay? This is what I use for my ceilings. Sometimes I use it for walls. We're going to use ID 142 for the bathroom wall, for the bedroom walls just to brighten it up a little bit. For right now though, we need to take ourselves a nap and let's hop on in to montage mode. See you there. Places we will find Just close your eyes and you will see 
spread your wings and you'll be free You can do it if you try, nothing more Just close your eyes and you will see All that's really within me We are blinded by our sight All the places we will find Just close your eyes and you will see Spread your wings and you'll be free You can do it if you try Nothing more Just close your eyes Just close your eyes Just close your eyes Just close your eyes Just leave our fears behind To run out your paradigm Just close your eyes and you will see We can be what we believe You won't know unless you try Nothing more Just close your eyes Just close your eyes Just close your eyes
All right, guys, this was fun. <laughs> we got most of the house done today. It looks great. Um, we got the kitchen done. We could use some doors. The saloon doors look great on the uh, on this house, by the way. It looks great coming through here. I know I didn't do it all. It's comp It does, though. It looks great. Um, I think the inside of this house looks awesome. I love it the way it came out so far. We got this really nice antiquity rug on the inside of the house. The floor itself matches in with the uh, wooden walls. If we could add some floorboards in alongside these edges, that would be great. That is something I do plan on working on. Um, I have to fix this little edge up over here. I got to find the center point over here so we can add a door in over on this edge. I'll probably have to use a door for that, like place a door here, place one over there. You know, something, something just to kind of get that centered off over there like I did over here. Um, I added an extra beam underneath this so that we could kind of flatten this off some. I do have an idea for uh blocking off this beams right here the eye beam so we don't have to see it and i'm probably going to replicate that going around the entire edge the living room my goodness this room looks gorgeous i love the way this thing came out as you walk into the bathroom it's got this beautiful pablo type look look and feel to it yes it's got a little bit of a glitch in the wall don't worry too much about that i don't know how to fix that um we have to wait for a building patch from the developer for that the uh windows themselves they look great um we will be adding a little bit more plankage around on the inside of these things that would be mainly to block off the eye beams that we have showing through on all of these things you know i want it to look like at first when i started building this guys i wanted it to look like it came from a fallout world and now it's starting to look like one of my modern builds and you know what i don't care the bedroom itself Still, it has the underlayment to it, and it doesn't have any paint on it. Now, if we move to the exterior of the house, the exterior of the house is going to look a little bit strange because we don't have any, well, we don't have much in the way of anything on it. And right now, it just looks like, well... We're just looking at the... We're just looking at the underlayment, and we're looking at the beams, and the... the all that stuff all right i mean if we were if we were able to see the wiring and the plumbing and the pipes and all that stuff this would be the way to see it <laughs> but <coughs> pardon me i'm a bit coffee today um but uh yeah i think this place is coming together great it's looking nice um which we, we will do a nice good yard on this um, next episode though, I might take a little bit of a break from the house and we will go out and build a tree farm. Um, if you've made it this far in the video, then you probably realize that, uh, I take, I took a little break somewhere in there, but I chopped up the, uh, montage and gave it, I chopped up the montage and cut it up into little parts so it wouldn't take so long to, uh, upload. But, guys, all in all, I put about six hours into this montage today. And I've been up since about 6 o'clock this morning. It is now about 1 p.m. So, yeah. Put a lot of time and effort into getting this thing done today. And it's it's turned out great. Um, this game has a lot of grind to it. And it uses up a lot of resources. So we're going to have to set up a tree farm somewhere. And to do that, I'll go over that next episode. For today, though, I'm going to go ahead and end this. And hopefully you guys love this. Be sure to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe for more episodes like this. Till next time, guys. I will see you on the flip side. Check y'all later. Bye-byes.